Joanna, Jo, Jo, Joanna. Hey y'all, it's your girl Jo, and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be sharing with you guys my seven real tips for college freshmen. So as you guys know, um, I was a freshman at Kent State University. I recently finished my first year of college. I just learned so many lessons. I just wanted to share them, with you guys. Share them with you guys. So like as you enter college, you know you guys aren't completely and ultimately lost number one get out of your comfort zone i say this in the nicest way possible this isn't high school you better start your life over again like as in do things that you didn't do before so i don't mean like become a whole new person but that is low-key recommended um i just mean do stuff that you would have never done before whether it's joining a chess club whether it's going to um, a college republicans meeting or going to a college liberals meeting or whether it's joining the gaming clubs going to parties because you never went to parties before in high school they weren't really your scene or you know just talking to more people do stuff like that because honestly you only be in college with these people at this time once in your life think about that like you'll never be a college freshman again you'll never be around these people and that state and this state of mind ever again so just make the most of it and just enjoy it as long as it doesn't like compromise your morals just try everything and anything you know like because you never know if you're gonna like something or hate it until you try it you hate it oh well don't do it you love it continue doing it as simple as that just get out of your comfort zone get out of it number two meet with your advisor we had academic advisors but then there's also like career advisors there's advisors for everything in college but I, you need to meet with your academic advisor meeting with your academic advisor will just honestly help set you up for the rest of your college career i met with mine in like what october and sis helped me plan well both both sisses both of them helped me plan out the next four years of college like everything is planned all my classes i'm taking when i'm studying abroad my summer courses all that are planned out to a t like i know what i will be doing i know if i need to change something that it can be done i know that i will be graduating in four years i know that i'll be getting all my requirements done meet with your advisor meet with them as soon as possible to make them your own college plan or if you haven't decided a major yet meet with them talk with them you know they can help you get ideas of what major you need to do they'll make sure that you graduate on time i know some schools my school specifically um the some of the advisors aren't good like they just won't tell you what you need to know they'll kind of let you make choices but also you have to bother them to make sure you have to bother them to bother you to make sure you get everything done if that makes sense if you show them that you're dedicated if you show them that you have a plan and you want to get things done and that you're not messing around they're not going to let you take oh uh, the art of hip-hop dance when you really needed college writing too you feel me because you do not want to be taking classes that won't even count you don't want to have like six extra credits for your electives where you really needed three credits to get rid of your math requirements because by doing that you waste the money not meeting with your advisor not making up a plan of what you need to do in order to graduate it's just wasting your money number three apps that you need okay you're going to need cash app and venmo um i recommend both of them because some people have cash apps some people have venmo some people even have Zelle. I don't have Zelle at the moment or yet. When you're going out to eat, if you know they can't use separate cards, cash out Venmo. You just you just need them. It's like you need those in life, but you really need them in college. You need Lyft and Uber. Depending on where you are, like where area you're from, Lyft might be cheaper, Uber might be cheaper. Like I know for New Jersey, Uber is cheaper where I live, but in Ohio, Lyft is cheaper. So you need both of them. Even if you have a car in college, you're going to need Lyft and Uber because you're not going to always be driving. Obviously, you and your friends need to go places sometimes. And see, this is why you need cash up and Venmo because if one person gets to Uber, but there's three of y'all, y'all got to send the other person the money somehow. So you guys got to use cash up and Venmo. Um, you need all of the food apps. When I, mean, when I mean all of the food apps, I mean all of the food apps. Postmates, DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, all of them. I have all four. Before college, I only had like what? DoorDash, Uber Eats. Come college, I have all of them. And I even have like maybe like a Domino's or like Papa John's app. You need them only because like in college you will be ordering food a lot more than you think because sometimes you won't actually have time to go and get pick it up or actually go dine in at a restaurant so just ordering deliveries um this is more convenient i didn't know this until i started having all of the apps but they charge you different prices <clears throat> like on postmates 
um, delivering on Five Guys might be a $4.99 delivery fee, but on DoorDash it's a $1.99 delivery fee. Make it make sense. We all know these food apps already scam you, but at least like scam, let yourself be scammed smartly. You see all the apps because to just compare prices. Because honestly, in around college towns, I found that they all deliver the same time, same way, efficient delivery. But it's just like the amount of how much they're charging me for delivery fees or if delivery is free at one place or more expensive at another. Four, not everyone is your friend. Sometimes people are just going to be your acquaintances and that's okay. You don't need to be BFFs with everybody. Also, the people you meet that first week or first month or school will not be will, will not always be your friends but until the end of the semester or even the end of the year. Like some people just don't last. Sometimes they're just friends until you find your real friends. Like they're that stepping stone. But also in college, you're just gonna have a lot of acquaintances and a lot of peers, and you're gonna talk to a whole lot of people. I would have a friend in each class, but then we wouldn't only talk to each other outside of class, just because we had other friends or other interests. Other people, I'd only talk to them outside of class. I'd only talk to them whenever we were hanging out, whenever I wanted to go to a party or go out to eat. Like you just have to have like different friends for different things, but also some people you just will never actually become that close with. Sometimes you just have them, you just kind of know them, you say hi, hello, and that is okay. But just remember, like you shouldn't tell everyone your business. That's how it is in the real world. I don't know, I think we're just so young and that we're just so used to calling everybody our friend from like middle school and high school that we don't realize that in the real world a lot of adults don't have friends like they have like business partners they have associates they have co-workers peers but they don't actually have friends like their friends are actually very minimal minimal yes minimal you know so just keep that in mind number five self-care 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 i cannot stress this enough you need to take care of yourself in college college it is mentally physically spiritually emotionally draining it just takes so much out of you there's so much effort you have to put in in college and that in turn like takes toll on your body sometimes self-care is just saying no to your friends like oh no i can't go out tonight oh no i can't go through to the dining car i can't stay for like you just gotta say no sometimes and just take that time for yourself i know me there are some like weekends i just really had to like recuperate and like mentally like calm myself down not calm myself down but like mentally like chill out and sometimes self-care is going out to eat with your friends sometimes self-care is telling yourself hey i'm not going to do my homework tonight it's due on friday let me do it tomorrow i still have time that's also self-care you just gotta eat right like eat those try to eat three meals a day especially breakfast because breakfast is so important as college students it's actually just important as any student but especially if you're in college you just need to actually eat breakfast to be able to function throughout the day i knew self-care was important when like my college advisors and my teachers started telling us about self-care that's how i knew it was important important when they started telling us self-care 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 please take the time that you need to like just get yourself together mentally physically spiritually like take care of yourself like you shouldn't be killing yourself or stressing the hell out of yourself for college six do not lose yourself i'm gonna be honest college will mature you and humble you real quick so quick when you realize it not everybody is um 17 18 in college yes there are people who enter college at 17 but not everybody's like 17 18 19 when they enter college a lot of people are like in their 20s like 20 20 21 22 23 even some people are like 24 25 in college um some people are like 30 coming back to college to get their degrees so college will really mature you so much so i'm just saying like don't lose yourself know your core values like know what makes you you. If you're against smoking and drinking, don't smoke and drink just because everybody else is doing it. If you've always been going to church and you are very religious, don't lose that. Don't stop being religious and like talking to God or other things because you're in college. You know, if you've always been a person who studies like very hard before a test, don't stop studying because you're in college. You know what I mean? Like still be you, but also allow yourself to be able to grow as a person because just first semester alone and then like the whole entire year, I've just grown so much as a person in college because I was exposed to so much. And I had to be open-minded, but also like I knew who I was. So I made sure I was open-minded to the right things. You know, I wasn't open-minded to things that would change who I am as a person, like at the very like core of who I am. So don't lose yourself because it, it's very easy to lose yourself in college because everything, everything is available to you in college. It is so easy. Seven, focus on school. I know this is self-explanatory. Well, it should be self-explanatory, but focus on school. You came to college for school. You didn't come to college to find friends. You didn't come to college for these clubs. You didn't come to college for the parties, for the drugs, for alcohol, for the hype, for the clout. You didn't come to college just to post all those, you know, cute little dorm pictures, uh, sororities and fraternities and all that. You came to college to learn. 
like college is expensive even if you're not paying for college directly even if you have like a full ride or scholarships or you know you're getting loans so you're not like actually actively worrying about the cost of college college is at least especially like at a university like a four-year university is at least ten thousand to fifty thousand dollars a semester because yes these may get degrees but these do not maintain scholarships i'm i'm just saying like remember like you're here for school you're here to learn like you didn't just move halfway across the country just for parties and the fraternity sororities like you moved halfway across the country to get education so just don't waste it don't waste it because wasting college is wasting your money and wasting your money i don't know just couldn't be me if i'm spending money on something i plan to to make the most out of it out of every penny dime quarter all of it okay okay anyway i hope you guys enjoy that video if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments down below and i'll try my best to answer them don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with all your friends see you next time bye